Today on Jimbo Vision, The Big Short. Hello. Adam McKay, the director who gave us Talladega Nights and Anchorman, returns here with a story of something else that sure escalated quickly, the subprime crisis which sparked a world recession. The Big Short brilliantly tells the outrageous but true story of the motley band of outsiders who saw this financial tsunami coming and effectively decided to surf it, which I guess is where the Big Shorts come in. Mike Burry, a guy who gets his hair cut at Supercuts and doesn't wear shoes, knows more than Alan Greenspan and Hank Paulson. Yeah, Dr. Mike Berry, yes he does. Christian Bale plays Berry, a hugely talented man who has some trouble interacting with normal folk, and so is Dr. Berry. He's kind of the movie's Chicken Little in a Dumb and Dumber haircut, and alongside him in a pretty sumptuous cast is Brad Pitt, for once in a non-eating role as a retired financial gunslinger now living with his beard in Colorado. Ryan Gosling is along and giving great comedy value as an off-the-Wall Street banker. No, Alex, no. And there's Steve Carell as a hedge fund manager and all-round walking ulcer, Mark Baum, who's mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. You have no idea the kind of crap people are pulling, and everyone's walking around like they're in a damn Enya video. They're all getting screwed, you know. The Big Short is adapted from the book of the same name by Michael Lewis. Lewis, of course, the man who also gave us Moneyball, another hugely enjoyable take on a complex subject. This film, though, feels very different to that real-life baseball fable. It is deeply funny in places, but there's also genuine outrage and anger here at the excesses and criminal greed which brought economies worldwide to their knees. Word is, in fact, that McKay only did Anchorman 2 so that he could make this. Hey, I guess the financial collapse wasn't all bad then. And he throws everything he has at nailing a world left without apparent adult supervision. And then that happens. What is that? That's America's housing market. <laughs> product placement. Jenga's not the only wooden star turn here, by the way. There's also celebrity cameos from the likes of Selena Gomez and Margot Robbie in a bubble bath, indeed. Margot explaining the uh, synthetic CDOs from the... Sorry, what were we talking about? Does it all work? Well, possibly not. Some critics, indeed, have found fault with the whole credit crunch for dummies tone of this film. Others have been irritated by the cast habit of stopping mid-scene to directly address the audience brilliantly on a couple of occasions to point out where screenwriters have made up stuff that didn't really happen. This breaking the fourth wall business is nothing new, of course. The ancient Greeks had a fine line in it. Personally, I had no issue with it at all. I, I think McKay's aim goes way beyond explanations here. He's trying to involve us directly in the story, and after all, Given how these events have impacted on all of our lives, we're hardly passive observers. The big sum up then. Well, I loved it. The first Bond adventure that I've really enjoyed in years indeed. It's witty, inventive, informative, and given that it actually points the finger at the guilty parties, something that the financial industry and one or two governments have been rather loath to do, it's also pretty invaluable. So, big love for the big short, and a big 8 out of 10.